Alright folks, how's it going? Welcome back to what, Mech Warrior 5. Got the asses kicked next last time. Wasn't happy whatsoever. I did manage to unwind, but now we're going to get straight back into it. And we're just going to try this again. So, I don't know if I will show the full contract off as a full thing. I might have to edit it. I'm not entirely too sure, but we're going to take salvage and the money. And we're going to try something a little different this time. Yeah, we know. Um, I think I know what I want to do. But the question is, how ballsy do I want to feel? Do I play safe and go with a Warhammer? And throw in some of the mechs? Or do I go for a scout missile boat lance? Because I'm thinking Phoenix Hawk with the Archer, Stalker and the Catapult. Stick them in the position and just let them rain missiles while I'm running around with the Phoenix Hawk. But that doesn't seem like a bad idea actually. Huh. Nah, I think we'll take... Nah, we'll take the Warhammer. I'll take the Warhammer. Um, let's take the Thunderbolt. We'll take the Stalker and... Do we have enough for... Got enough for a 50 tonner. Which, we do have the Hunchback, but... Needs repaired, so we can't run that. Let's drop the Stalker for an Archer. This gives us 55 to 60, and we'll take the... We'll take the Catapult. Yeah. Yeah, this will do. Right, so we want... Um, Captain Lockwood. We want Captain Dean. Where is he? Dean. And we want Lieutenant Norris, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll see how this goes, and let's see if we can avenge ourselves. Also, I managed to take down that Warhammer pretty quickly with the, the three PPCs right at the end, but... See, my problem was, I either got A, too greedy, or too cocky. And two, what I should have done was, I should have either held back and let my Lance mates finish off the Orion, or... I should have swapped to a different mech. That's what I should have done. But my stubborn ass didn't bother. <laughs> and I paid for it, so we'll see what we can do. Blackjack, let's get the attack order. Whoa, watch out for the bolt. Alright, so we're just going to go in with the Stalker. That Stalker. Going, going with the Blackjack, with the Warhammer. Let's just see what we can do. I'm just going to brawl, I think. Should be able to finish off the, uh, the Blackjack quite decently, hopefully. We got range? Not really. There we go. Almost done it. Just throw everything on the flat jack, just get it killed. There we go. Now we can. Ow! Easy two, Are you kidding me? Okay. Pretty crap start, actually, because I got a good bit of armor damage already. I should really let my AI pilots take the lead sometimes. So I might do. I might just need to let them take the lead. Now the question is... Alright, we can hold here and just do what we're doing. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. 3 out 19. Just gotta keep together and just do what we can. Okay. 
We will, we will. Don't worry, Rihanna. Just need to see where the other mechs are. Ah, there's a dropship. Right, let's get the lance over there to intercept. And be ready. Let's drop in. Cataphract and the quick draw, same as it was last time. Fire on here. Okay. Tag observed, engaging. Let's deal with the calf right now. We might be able to headshot the calf right. That's what I'm hoping. Because calf racks are really easy to headshot. That coming in quite right. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's get the attack order. I'm just going to ball back so we don't get as much heat. And we should be okay, I'm hoping. Stock? Catapult is going in brawling. I don't like that. But whatever. I think... Yeah. That is the... Um, two heavy mechs done quite quickly. I like that. We still have our two allies, which isn't too bad. I mean, I don't even know what allies we have, actually. It looks like... I don't know, from the silhouette, it kind of looks like an assassin, I think it is. That's what it looks like. Okay, we are... Uh... Right, let's just fall back. We might be able to get some early fire on. question is, though... Okay. Come on. Here we go. Bugs on the javelin. Javelins are really, really dangerous. Might be in range for these twos, not quite. Let's keep using the LRM10s. I think our best thing to do is just to hold position and just, I don't know, just try and rain fire the best we can. Like so. Let's try and stay behind cover if we can. We do have the Jenna coming in. Right, try and deal with the, deal with the Jenna if possible. Yeah. It's going a lot better this now. Ah, bastard. Alright, left torso's open up. I have a blackjack here. Alright, let's see if we can try and finish off the blackjack if possible. Good. All right, not too bad actually. We're doing a okay. The only, right, we do have another dropship incoming, so let's get another waypoint. Again, we're gonna fall back. We'll deal with the um, the beetle warrior here. Might be in range. There we go. Right, so I do know the other two heavy mechs come over from this side. So right now we just need to just sort of hold position. Rifleman. Oh god. Oh god. Three heavies. Ah, fuck. Ouch. I just like how they're coming onto me. I'm not even firing at them. Right, well, I'm just going to keep moving. Just. Yeah, just keep moving. Just letting them focus on me. Uh, I don't are they? I don't think so. Right, we can focus fire now, I think. Get some aggro on us again. Can we reach for the medium laser? Possibly. Quick draw is opened up in the center. I just gotta keep attacking. It's just got an SRM4 and two medium lasers. We've got the rifleman in the back. Yeah, another rifleman. Ouch. Okay, left torso's beginning to go now. Right. Okay, just don't fire, just don't fire, just. I just realized we've got an urban mech. Cool. Right, cool. Okay, so we've got four more targets left. No, I think it's roughly around this time. We need to start falling back now just a little bit. Even... 
even to here. And to be honest with you, I do like, I do like this position actually right at the back. Oh, okay, so Lance is over there. Right, okay. Okay, so, wait a minute, if we just got one and No, we've got five enemies to deal with, I didn't realize. So three here and the two and the last drop. Hmm. Okay, okay. Alright, that's my stupid. I can't ask myself up anymore. Right. Okay. Regrouping it requested. We're on the move. Right, we just need to what we got? Orion and Warhammer. Okay, actually. Focus on Orion. Focus on Orion. Because the Orion, in my opinion, is more deadlier. Okay, there we go. Oh, this Orion's done. Holy spit. Alright, let's finish off the Warhammer now. Jesus Christ, this has gone so much fucking easier. Fire. Ah, shit. Sorry. There we go. Right, where's our evac? Let's get out of here. I can't believe that. So much bloody easier. Well. Yeah, well, you know. At first you don't succeed. Try, try again. But we actually got it this time, so I'm happy about that. Well, we've still got a couple of mechs dropped, but... No thank you, we're just going to get out of here, complete the mission, get a reputation, and see what happens once we hit level 10. But I'm not too sure if we're going to be a bit off, so we might have to do another contract, I think. I don't even know if I can um, feel another lance after this, actually. After this, actually. But anyway, we're done. Um, Rifleman Stalker. Stalker free F. What do we have? We got Stalker free F, right? I think so. Oh, actually, thinking of that, I'm actually thinking of changing up the loadout for the, uh, the Stalker. Because yeah, right now we have it as a missile boat with a couple of, um, I think, a couple of S lasers, I think, for close quarters. I might actually um, downgrade the 20s and 15s to 410s and some medium lasers, I think. Just give it a little bit of extra boom up close, because 40 missiles are still, it's still good, but we're firing, um, I believe we're firing 70 missiles, I think. Alright, 32, okay, so we can't get an Orion, we already got one, but, oh my god. LRM 15 tier 4, 85 burst fire tier, oh, wow. That's not bad, actually. Uh, do I want any mechs? Hmm. Let's have a look. Ooh. Um, what are we doing? There we go. Cataphract. 70 tonner. One medium ballistic. One... Is that medium missile? So, if I was going to take the cataphract, probably... Support build. Fire support, so large laser, AC5, LRM10. Wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad build. Be solid. Rifleman, um, already had a. Have we had a rifleman? I don't think so. Hmm. Blackjack, nah. I will take the main rifleman since. Duh. Hmm. Got to think, actually. Got to think, indeed. Do we take the rifleman, or do we not? If anything, it's just for the um, the weapons, because we'll be going to cold storage anyway. So we'll be getting those level four weapons. Sure, we'll do that, and then we'll pick up a. We can pick all three up. Brilliant. Bunch of medium lasers as well. Holy shit, there's some really good stuff here. Very surprised. Whatever, there we go. Alright, okay, so Mason 225, uh, 184, 
1007, not bad. Uh, Lockwood 1-1-182-561. Dean 214-132-786. Norris 212-127-915. Uh, and you are injured. Why is that? Why are you injured? Headshot? Maybe. Okay. Um... Okay, you continue success in the battlefields, not going to be seen by Duke Hazak Davian, for your vigilant service to the Capellan March. We would like you to extend the gift of Agent Starley Defense Force Auto Cannons from his personal collection. Duke Hazak Davian much prefers to see we such weapons in the hands of those defending the Capellan March than those who would seem shipped out to New Avalon Institute of Science for study. Cool. And we get. <sighs> Ultra Auto Cannon Eyes. And we get rank 10. Brilliant. And we got to speak to Fahad this time. Okay. Hello, Fahad. Been a while. Hey, boss man. Keeping me and the crew real busy lately. Glad to see the contracts rolling in. Like that. Doing a bloody good job, too. Gotta say. All right, cheers. One thing, though, you and your fellow pilots might want to dodge the enemy's fire a little bit, all right? Yeah. We're running triple shifts after some of these jobs. And I know, I know you're doing your level best under the circumstances. I'll get that. I'll do. It ain't easy. All I'm saying is, try to bring them mechs home with all their limbs still attached. That's not too much to ask, is it? No, it isn't, mate. It's pretty bloody reasonable, I think. Well, there you go. Some friendly advice on the house guard. Gonna get back to work now. Catch you later. I really wanna break your fucking jaw. You hear me? You've been nothing but an ass ever since the beginning of this game. You are nothing like my old friend Yang. Go fuck yourself, good sir. Wanker! <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously, I don't like that guy. It gives our British a bad rep, he does, like. He does, Governor, he does, he does. Alright, Rana, what have you got? Thanks to Spears' people, we now know we're somewhere within Inferno's current sphere of operations. However, we still haven't been able to pinpoint the location of their base. What we have learned is the name of the man who killed your father, the leader of Black Inferno. Name's Andreas Kane. He was loyal to one of the Marek factions for a while, making a nasty name for himself. He was responsible for several massacres as well. Of course, that was before he struck out on his own and set up shop as a mercenary. After that, his trail runs cold. Unfortunately, that means there's a lot we still don't know, like how Inferno became as big as they are, or who their current benefactor is. Andreas Kane. When we find him, Rihanna, I'm going to tear him and his mech limb from limb. I have no doubt, Commander. But we need to find him first. I've been scanning the comms, looking for any mention of Inferno activity. Not ten minutes ago, I picked up a distress call from a nearby port city. They have come under successive attacks by a mercenary group and are asking for immediate help. Sound familiar? Sure does. The distress call had this image embedded in the transmission. It's a map of the city and port. I think it's best if I drop you down here, just outside this farm. You can proceed from there into the main city itself and ensure that it's protected. The port is nearby, over here. That's where I'll pick you up once the city and port have been secured. Questions? Nope. Plan sounds good. All right. Get us where we need to go, Commander. I'll keep monitoring the situation. Roger that. I do have one question. A... Where the fuck did he get a king crab from? And number two, what is it with these games with the final mech you face off being a king crab? The same was for Battletech, and I'm feeling the same is going to be for here. Few transmission. Okay. Okay, Commander. Same plan as we discussed. I'll drop you near the farm on the outskirts of the city. Clear the farm of any enemies, then proceed to the city itself. Once the city is secured, I'll pick up the port. As usual, we have no idea what force strength our enemy is. But, this is in the small outpost, so you should expect a su 
substantial number of mechs supported by both ground and air forces. Plan accordingly. Good luck. Yeah. Right, but we need to take a quick trip. Where? As for speaking of which, holy crap. Holy crap, it's all the way in Steiner space? Jesus, that's a... Oof. That's a good way away, that, isn't it? Right, well, if that's the case, then what we can do is we can kind of do this, then. Um, where's the nearest um, industrial zone? Mm, not up here. Right, so what we'll do is, I think, be kind of interesting. We'll sort of pop to industrial zone, conflict zone, industrial zone, conflict, industrial conflict, and just sort of bounce all the way up to here. There's a couple of, um, there is a couple of, um, high reward quests, actually. Raid demolition war zone, defense war zone assassination. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of bouncing around. So first of all, we want to come up here to, let's go to Galaxin. And then we can um, repair some mechs then. Then we can see where we stand regarding our upgrades and stuff. Um, what's the time? Alright, so... Okay, just checking the time. I haven't really got long to record tonight, so I'll see what I can do. Alright, first of all, let's check the star map. Okay, so we have a rare mech and just wear a weapon, I guess. Alright, tier 3, element 20, we have uh, S3-4, Artemis. We've got one already, which is pretty nice. I thought we'd pick one up, or am I thinking of something else? I can't remember. Might be thinking of something else. About it. Okay, we're going to the Met Market. We're going to Hunchback 4 SP. Hello. Two s room 6s and... That's new. I've seen that very before. Yegamek S, okay. Rifleman 3N, yeah, that's what we have. Do we have a, I think we have a Rifleman. We had a Rifleman, didn't we? I think we did. Okay, well, let's throw in the, uh, the repairs. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Stock, remind me what's your loadout. A tag, short laser, S, short burst. LRM 15s. Okay, so, missile boat, basically, with a little bit of close quarters. All right. That's fine. Ryan. Yeah, that's that LB-10 AC. Cool. Right, Battlemaster. My replacement for the... My replacement for the awesome. Alright. Got three engine heat sinks. Alright, so the question is, do we go full energy? Might have to, actually. We do have small ballistics. Um, I'd say if I kept a, an eye out for any light rifles, but fortunately, apparently, they're part of the... Apparently, the DLC, so I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea, so... I think what's best is we got a tier 4 large laser we'll stick on. We'll throw on... I just think this might have to just be the build, actually. We've got a mini pulse laser we'll stick on as well. Yeah, we'll stick that on. And I think the rest is just cooling, I think, actually. We could throw in a couple of um, AC2s as well. That brings up to 85. Could do, just add a bit more punch. I mean, technically, we can do it. Like that. Is that enough cooling? 1.6. Firepower is 90. That's total damage altogether. Speed 64.8. Max range 192. Cooling. What's our heat build up? We have a look. Okay, heat build up is we're round we're rounded to the whole number, so that's six. Two, eight, ten. Ten. 
three. So 13. 13, 12. 13. 15. And then these guys don't generate much heat. So fifth, right. So between the large laser and the other four, the three lasers and the three medium lasers and the one medium pulse laser, we're talking a combined total heat of 15, something like that. 15, maybe 16. Is that right? Is that right? Heat is 6. 6, 8. 6, 8, 10. 13. 15. Yeah. Double heat sinks. I think this will do. Yeah. That's not bad. That's not a bad build whatsoever, actually. That's, not, that's good. Alright, Phoenix is fine, Stalker's fine, Spider's fine, just a filler mech. It's actually a nice support scout mech, actually. Where was it? Uh, it's AMS and stuff, it's not too bad, actually. Right, my Hunchback 4G. Now, this is going to be interesting because I know exactly what I'm going to be doing with it. And I've been waiting a long time to fucking do this. Yep, we're using the Gauss Rifle. Now, I'm not using my uh, level 2 Gauss Rifles. Actually, yeah, level 3. The reason why is because I'm actually... Actually, we could go LP... We could go... Oh, actually, we could go Auto Cannon. We could go Auto Cannon. But, to be honest, with the Auto Cannons... With the Ultra Auto Cannon, um, I'd rather use two of them instead of one. But... I just want to stick with a Gauss Rifle now. I know Gauss Rifles are rare, but I have been waiting to use it on a mech for fucking ages. I think a Hunchback would actually be pretty decent, actually. It would be pretty decent. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the Gauss Rifle. If anything, it's just for a bit of extra long range, you know. Pretty cool. Alright, so mediums we're going to throw on. Uh, we're just going to throw some basic medium lasers. I'd rather give my low tier stuff to my AI pilots, although to be honest, they tend to do better than me. <laughs> oh, isn't it a shame? Um, we got a S laser here as well. Yeah, that's okay. And I guess the rest is just cooling and ammo, really. That's it. We're not going to throw in the double heat sinks. We're just going to throw in the single heat sinks. We'll just throw in four of them. And we'll throw on two bins of Gauss. That's 40, no pardon, 52 shots altogether. That's not too bad actually. Cool. We'll do that. Dragon needs repaired as well. Okay, so let's go load out. Do that. Uh, do we have an AC2 best fire? We got one to buy. Uh, sure, just buy it, replace it, that'll do. There's nothing much we could do with this. Um, Nothing much we could do with a dragon. It's... I can throw in another heat sink, I think, but... We'll go over a tonnage, and I think this is just fine enough. Um, actually... Yeah, do you know what? I should really be doing this for all my mechs, I just keep forgetting. I've got a bad habit of doing this. Bring that down to about 25. Pump that up as much as it can. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do this. This is like one of my big weaknesses. I just go max armor and that's it, but... Do you really need all that back armor? Exactly. So... There you go, redistribute it so we get more armor in the front. Yeah, I'll do that next time for a lot of the mechs, but I can only do what I can do. And while we're at it, we need to get a new pilot as well. Uh, we'll take... Go to take McCoy for the Hunchback because of the high um, pilot skill. Sorry, pilot skill. The high ballistic skill, but... But, the energy and the missiles, not too bad either. Not to mention, 4 out of 9 for the defense, 9 out of 9 for the heat. Oh, God, this guy's beautiful. Really, really good. Okay. 
Born in the fringes of Davian space, McCoy has always dreamt of becoming a mech warrior. A skilled pilot, uh, McCoy is the embodiment of a true mercenary. He has a rogue streak, and his carelessness has gotten him into danger far too many times, but that same devil me care attitude is what made him into such an in-demand pilot. Welcome. Okay, so we need to head. Alright, so... Plan is to jump, contractor to, jump to here, and then we'll jump to here. Maybe a contractor to, here, here, contractor to, here, and then we'll jump down here. Objective is here. So we'll jump to here, industrial. And then we could just go straight to here then. So I think that's the plan. So we're kind of going... So we're kind of going up and down in this kind of direction. I think that's probably best. Right then. So the question is, what's better? Do we do the defense and the multi-operation? Or do we do the war zone and defense? We'll do the war zone and defense. I'll see why not. 